crystal. I've loved dolls my whole life. I collect everything from porcelain to cloth, American Girl, neonates, and real care dolls. But my favorite is to collect and make reborn dolls. There's Chloe, Grace, Jeremy, Maya, Yuki, Savannah, Zoe, Haley, Landon, and Maisie. It isn't easy keeping up with my collection, but it sure is a lot of fun. Hi guys! So I am here to do the box opening of American Girl Be Forever doll uh, Mary Ellen. And I'm also going to open her accessories and her crinoline. These are all items that my friend Angela sent me. And if you haven't seen that box opening of all the goodies she sent me as an early birthday gift, um, I will link it in the description below or in an iCard or something like that. Actually, it'll probably be on the end slate. <laughs> um, and also, I forgot to mention in the last two love mails from Angela, I think, or maybe just the last one, um, that she does have a YouTube channel. So I will also link to her YouTube channel in the description below if you haven't subscribed to her already. Um, her channel is Reborn Mommy Fanatic. And um, yeah, she is a reborn artist. And she also has, she also collects. But anyways, let's uh, get started on opening these things. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and open the accessories and the crinoline first since I have them sitting on top here. So the box probably lists, no, nope, doesn't. Sometimes they do and sometimes they don't list what's inside. Um, this one doesn't. But basically Mary Ellen's accessories are this little turquoise knitted purse that opens like that and it has little white plastic handles and then it also comes with <clears throat> a pearl um bracelet little pearl bracelet and it also comes with uh, white gloves. Oops. Comes with little white gloves. Well, they look like mittens because obviously with the American girls, they don't have individual fingers, so they can't do gloves. So they're like little white mittens. Um, kind of like a silky satiny material and it has a little bow on the side and then it has this little lacy scalloped edge around the wrist area. Um, and then the last piece of her accessories is a beautiful pearl necklace, as you can see, and it has a gold clasp to uh, close it up, a gold clasp. And then it has this little part hanging off of it in gold that says American Girl. So those are her accessories. And I'm just going to place them back in the box for now because, of course, I always do my little um, Ziploc bags <laughs> where I keep all of my American Girl uh, items together in their sets. And then this is Mary Ellen's crinoline. So you can put this under any of her uh, poodle skirts because most of her outfits have like a poodle skirt feel to it. And so this crinoline just gives it that poof, that poofy look. And so it's just pink, made out of like pink tulle. It has an elastic waist and then it has two layers of crinoline and it's uh each layer is um how would you say that trimmed with 
pink satin ribbon. So I'm excited to have that so that I can, cause I already have her poodle skirt outfit, but you can also put it under the outfit she comes wearing and some of her other dresses as well, I believe can be used with it. So let's get started on opening her box. Hopefully you can see okay. It's the typical American Girl box that uh, has her picture and her book on the front and it has the circle window. So I'm just going to lift this up and she is so pretty. So she's got her book on the plastic piece here. Mary Ellen 1954. So she's from 1954. And um, let's see. So funny enough, this is different. Um, most of the American Girl dolls come with a um, hairnet on, but she does not have a hairnet. So that's different. I wonder why they chose not to put her hairnet on. Hmm. Um, I actually don't know. I, I honestly, I think I don't mind that because I actually find sometimes the hairnets kind of mess up the hair. So she's got the typical elastics around her ankles that you just slip off. And underneath those elastics around the ankles are um, foam. Just so that the elastic doesn't leave any marks. Which I don't know if all of the dolls have had that. Um, I think they should have that, but like, uh, when I got Leah, girl of the year, Leah, I don't think she had that because I remember, um, she actually had some marks on her ankles from the elastics, which kind of bothered me. Um, but they seem to have like kind of gone away, I guess. And then she's got a hang tag on her wrist. Care for your doll with straight hair. Yeah. That's like the typical, they just have the hair care thing. Then they have the elastic around the neck with the um, foam underneath that. And there's a plastic piece attached to the box that the elastic goes around. And I always have such a difficult time getting my fingers in there to unhook the elastic. I always have a hard time, especially when I don't have nails. I just cut my nails. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. Here she is out of the box. So as you can see, let's see. I'll have to move up the camera. Okay, here we go. So as you can see, she has her hair in a ponytail. And it's funny they, they say that, you know, she's straight hair, but to me, she's got a bit of a wave to her hair. Um, and it's just, it's got this nice turquoise bow and um, she's got these side bangs, which is funny enough. It was one of the things that was kind of making me hesitate on whether I wanted to get her because she has this strange bang right here. I don't know if you can see how it kind of comes out weird there. Um, but I actually found out that it has to do with her story that she um, cuts her own bangs in one part of the story and kind of goofs on them. And so that's why 
this one piece is like that kind of like uneven um but I think like you know you can kind of like side swoop them and they don't look that bad so um her hair is like a strawberry blonde in a sense like it's kind of a reddish color but not super duper red and so as you guys know like if you've been following me for a while um, you know that I decided to buy number 61 instead of Mary Ellen and I had actually thought to make 61 kind of like my Mary Ellen. I was just going to buy the Mary Ellen outfits and all that. Um, and I don't know why her bow is like sticking up weird. <laughs> I want it to like lay flat there. Um, yeah, so that was what I had originally planned to do because 61 ha really has red hair. And I thought, well, I don't know if I want to with red hair, but really, like, her hair isn't super, super red. It's a very different shade to 61. And I loved this outfit that she comes in. It's a striped dress, um, pinks and white and turquoise. And then it has a turquoise little bow around the waist. And it has this adorable little shrug sweater that's turquoise. And it has the M embroidered on it. And then she's got these black kind of Mary Jane type shoes. And she's, I, I just loved this outfit. And I was like, I'm sure that I could have somehow just got this outfit and put it on my 61 doll like I'm sure somewhere you can get just the outfit without the doll but all in all I kept going back to the store and looking at Mary Ellen and I just really really liked her and thought I don't know I really just decided that I wanted her as well so there she is and her eye color it's kind of hard to see in the lighting um I think it's kind of like a green, a greenish sort of hazel color. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, they're not super green like 61. My 61 doll, who is Anne, I named her Anne. Um, Anne has super green eyes. Like they, it's without a doubt green eyes. Um, but Mary Ellen's is a little bit darker and I think it's I would say it's a hazel green because I see flecks of brown and flecks of green in there and then she's got the little feathery eyebrows and she is just really a really a pretty doll and I love that era I love the 50s with all the poodle skirts and like I said as you can see this is a very like there's a lot of room under the skirt, so I can definitely put that crinoline. Oh, and she has just plain white underwear. So there's her hair again from the back. She is super duper pretty, and I love her. And I thank you again so much, Angela. Okay, so I also wanted to add onto this video... I decided to put her accessories on so that you guys can see what they look like. So there she is wearing the pearls. And what I liked about this necklace is it's on stretchy cord. So it made it very easy to put on her neck because as you can see, it's um, a choker style. And so if it didn't have that stretchy cord, it would have been a very tight squeeze to get those clasps closed. So the fact that I was able to stretch it out a little bit helped close it up. And then she's got her little mittens on and I put her bracelet on her right wrist. Hopefully you can see that. And then she's holding her purse in her left hand. So I just think this is adorable, this little bag. So there she is with all her accessories, looking super snazzy.
Okay, and so I also went ahead and put the crinoline on so we can see the full effect of that. See how it just really poofs out the skirt? It just gives it a really nice look. Um, I just need to like kind of make sure that all the layers are sitting properly. Well, let me just adjust. There's one part I think that's kind of bunched up. Wait, where did it go? Hold your horses. Wait a minute. Oh, it's not two. It's not a two layer crinoline. I didn't look. I was looking at it wrong. It's not a two layer crinoline. It's only a one layer. Which kind of makes sense because two layers would be a lot. Okay, so it was just because when I was looking at it, Um, when I took it out of the box, the way I was holding it, it looked like it was two layers. But it's actually one layer. Whoops, she dropped her bag. Um, but yes, there it is. There's her dress with the crinoline. It's so pretty. I love it. So, yeah, she is styling. She is in full 50s gear here makes me think of um, Sandra D in Greece with all her poodle skirts and things I love that movie so much and I'm trying to get her to hold this bag again I always have trouble getting the American girls to hold stuff I always have a really difficult time with that I feel like they should have made the handles on this a little bit bigger so that it could like slip over her wrist. There we go. There we go. Now she's ready. And yeah. So um, thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. So don't tell me how to act or how I should